This is my first tutorial. Um, it's a guide for MIDI mapping a knob for changing up to eight patches in a MIDI instrument within a third party VST, specifically Native Instruments, Massive, FM8, and Absinthe. Uh, required will be Max for Live and a device called Clip Knobber 1.0. I'll have the link in the description. Uh, after you download Clip Knobber, um, enable to create a new MIDI track and load it in an instrument. I just threw Massive in here. Uh, open it, go to browser, you're gonna click programs, turn it yellow, and this power button uh, will activate the programs list for down here. Um, just load in uh, whatever patches or presets you want. Um, up to eight is all I've found how to do right now. So after you get that, um, you're going to insert another MIDI track. Just call it Instrument Change. I guess. And then create a half bar clip. Uh, make sure this loop is off. And after that, select bank one and program one this will duplicate and only change to program two down here and do that eight times until you get to program eight I'll just keep going here real quick. Uh, to duplicate is just Control D or Command D on the Mac. I think it is. done we'll go ahead and turn the MIDI from off and drag in clip knobber to this clip track here. I'm gonna turn the bank steps up to eight. We're gonna activate this and then MIDI map clip select to your MIDI controller knob. This will change each of these programs here in the program list. And the last thing, let's create one more MIDI track. And I'll just name this one. Select MIDI from uh, MIDI from instrument change, which is the one with clip number on it, and MIDI to is going to go to. instrument with massive on it in this case and then uh, one last thing I think is all we have to do is click this in monitor in 
make sure your instrument's armed. And I think that's it. Let's test it out. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Hope this helps, or if anyone has any better ideas on how to do it, that would be cool too.